What's up guys, got another $400 mystery box from eBay. In case you're curious what those mystery box are all about, this is my second one from the same seller that I bought before and that video went pretty much viral. So many views, thank you so much. So let's do the same one, also that seller is all sold out. This is the last one for $400. So anyways, I love the packaging of the choice silver mystery box, silver packaging and also I want to see if it's going to be even better stock. It's $17 per ounce right now, premium still around $20 per ounce on eBay, that's the cheapest you can get. So we'll unbox it, we'll wait and see what this thing is about. For these people who thinks that I get ripped off from making mystery boxes, you guys saw so on. I make my money way way more back from YouTube and all the ads. So this is win-win. I buy them so you don't have to if you're too scared to get ripped off. But sometimes they are a really good deal. So let's see if this one is a good deal. Mystery box, I have the idea of it, it's supposed to be way better deal what you're paying for because they're giving you a bulk of stuff or at least minimum exactly the same stuff that you pay for but it's like a presence okay first of all we have here layer bracelet and it looks like 925 silver most likely cool all functional a little bit dirty we could clean this up or we can even sell it at the coin store if you don't care about it all this probably 825 or 925 we're starting out with a bunch of junk silver another layer bracelet Another in, cool. More junk silver, I kind of like this one, super dirty silver. I know who have accumulated this bunch of stuff to sell it on eBay. Interesting. Anyways, this looks like silver slash gold, most likely just gold plated and silver. And I like that there is no stones in it, it's mostly silver. And yep, it says Italy, whatever, 925. So, you can take all that junk silver like that to a coin store, they'll wait, they'll appraise it and they'll buy it from you, for, for spot usually, that's what they do. They know the melt, melt value of that stuff. Okay, silver spoons, forks, more silver bracelets, again a lot of junk silver, oh my gosh. Another beat up silver bracelet, this is what I'm talking about, this I would sell to a jewelry store. Little pieces over here, looks like broken chain, 925. Oh, I see some coins. Wow, this is a cool one right here, a big one. Again, this is looks like broken, but it says 925 at the end of it. So this is all junk silver. You can even calculate it online, all the 925 weight, and it will tell you how much it would wor be worth. No way, there's more junk silver. But yeah, there's chains, you know, this one's, I would give it as a present to the kids. Kids love that kind of stuff. Look at that. That one is not even dirty. Oh wow, no way. What was his name? I forgot his name in English. 925 as well. Let's see if there's actually some cool stuff. This is 1940, 10 cents. More junk silver. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Money clip, silver money clip, I think that's what it is. And it's a big letters over there, 925. Okay, 1964, 1962, uh, junk silver, more of it. That's an interesting name. Whenever you're gonna be trying to sell this kind of stuff with the silver, it's supposed to be only silver, no stone. So I'm just gonna set it to the side. Ooh, nice, 1936, half dollar, walking liberty. Not a good quality, so a bunch of junk silver. Nice, there's 1943. More 10 cents, more junk silver. Some earrings with the little diamonds. That's like bonus stuff. I'm not really sure if it's worth anything. 1944, probably could sell it at some jeweler. What I'm really curious to see how much actual coins we got and silver bars. I know there's got to be a pure silver bars at the end over there. They usually fall to, to the end. And as you can see, nothing super shiny, 
just kind of dirty silver coins, but those are 90% silver. Another very interesting ring over here. Okay, <laughs> look at that. Maybe diamond earring, more coins, none of the great quality, but again, each 10 cents like that goes for dollar and 10 cents usually right now. Maybe even more one day. Oh, more junk silver, no way. I hope we'll get the silver bars. This is insane, look how much. Wow, this is some epic chain right here. 925 silver most likely, more silver, junk. Wow, this package has a lot more earrings and such. My last package had way less of that kind of junk. It was more coins, I think, but I don't remember. It's been so long, 1964, a little bit more shinier. That's cool. Okay, another USN ring, some kind of lockets. Oh wow, this is interesting. This is a Walking Liberty 1944 half dollar coin inside of this I want a pendant or whatever you call it. It's easy to take it off, but whatever. There's another 1953 Washington half dollar. 1953, 1944 and 943 Walking Liberty half dollars. I should separate them so we can calculate them later. Wow, there's a lot of 925 silver. Kind of a little bit disappointed. I hope I will see some coin bars because if we don't, I did not hit a, a good box today. But I'm sure we'll at least make somewhat money back. I hope uh, Kennedy half dollar, 1964, 90% silver and all this are 90% silvers as well okay what else we have here more 90 percent silvers i think those ones about seven dollars or four dollars wow this mystery box way more disappointing you know why i was hoping to get some more uh one ounce silver bars even though they were dirty it was a good buy this time uh, I did not get a, any bars. Last time I got a lot of bars and they were all kind of beat up. But yeah, this time it's the worst one. Probably because there was a last one. They mostly give me this junk silver that is really annoying to even sell. Coins a lot easier to sell, but that would be too. But I would have to separate all these stones. It's like annoying. You only have to like have this kind of pieces. Wow, mystery box, I'll put a link in description because let's calculate, see how many coins we have and look online and see how much it would be. Because this is quite disappointing right now. Now you know, if you buy one amazing mystery box from one seller, doesn't mean you're going to get another one, pretty good one too. But again, I'm buying these mystery boxes so you guys don't have to. I'm still gonna make way more money back from all these videos. For those people who is gonna say, quit getting ripped off, trust me, I'm not. So I just went online, this 90% silvers, half dollars, only go for $6.30. So it's around $75. And this one's 10 cents, 90% silvers. Uh, they go for dollar and twenty right now, so that's only twenty bucks right now. So we right here only at ninety five dollars. I paid four hundred dollars, or you would have had paid four hundred dollars. So so far it is a rip off. Now let's weigh this nine twenty five. See how much we got here. I'm only going to include nine twenty five silver without this stones or anything because if you're going to sell it at the coin store, which is very easy. You have to remove all the stones, so I'm not going to be doing that. Okay, this one going to go in here. And let's see what we got here. Okay, right now we are 3 ounces, 4 ounces, and yeah, we'll calculate online. Hey, we're not done yet, why are you beeping? We'll calculate online how much would it be. Uh, money 
at today's silver price. It all does automatically and updates here. Okay, let's see if it's going to keep climbing. I better wash my hands after this. Yeah, watch I cannot include unless I take it apart. Okay, let's say we have 15 ounces right here, right? You guys can see 15 ounces. Let's calculate. So you can go to one of this website and set it up in grams or you can set in kilos, grains. We're going to do ounces, regular ounces. Toy ounces a little bit different. Then total weight. Let's say we only had 15 ounces done, which is kind of a lot. And it will automatically give you silver price. And it's only $17, no. Oh, $220, okay, it's silver price right now, $17.42 per ounce today. So it's automatically updates here, or you can correct that. And a total silver value of $220. And there is a 5% spread, and your coin store will have to take some percentage for selling it from you. So that's, to me, a total loss. I paid $400 for bunch of junk silver. None of these co coins are special. None of the silver one ounces bars that you don't get any special. Even if they dirty, sometimes you can get a vintage one and it's just nice to keep. All this stuff is just, I don't care. The, I have all of them already for my collection. I like to have them super, super shiny. So it's maybe a beginner silver box, maybe okay, but again, you overpaying $75 for all that silver. You can go to a coin store and buy yourself way, way nice, nicer pieces. But let me know in comments below, what do you think? I really didn't expect to get this time so much 925 junk silver. A little bit disappointed, but it is what it is. Now you know what you would have got if you bought this mystery box instead of me. But that's okay, again guys, we'll make our money back on this video. Well, thank you so much for watching this video because that lets me open up these weird mystery boxes and kind of sometimes expose them that not all of them are worth it. A lot of them actually junk. This one is pretty awesome, but we overpaid $75. They could have thrown at least maybe like three silver one ounce bars then i would have been happy but yeah thank you for watching let me know in comments below what do you think and i'll see you next time